Well, I mean, the Inflation Reduction Act is uh, precisely designed to, uh, to help uh, achieve inflation reduction, to help tame uh, inflation and to uh, support the work of the Fed, not, not to make it more difficult. But our, our general point uh, in the US and around the world is that right now, uh, fiscal policy uh, should not make uh, the work of central banks more difficult. Fiscal policy very much needs to support uh, the work of central banks around the world. Clearly, we, we've seen in the UK some concern expressed in financial markets about what is perceived to be two organisations working in opposition to each other. That picture doesn't seem to be getting any better from here on in. Uh, what words of advice would you have for, for the, the British administration at this point? It seems to be throwing its own central bank governor under the bus. Well, look, we've had lots of conversations here in Washington, of course, over the past two days in the G7, in the G20. Uh, and, you know, what is uh, very important is that uh, to the extent that fiscal policy uh, is required to cushion the impact of higher inflation, to cushion the impact of higher energy prices, then, you know, our advice is that that support needs to be very well targeted, uh, means tested, uh, well tailored and temporary and uh, it needs to be designed in a way that doesn't add further uh, to inflationary pressures because it's very very important to get inflation under control, it's undermining uh, the purchasing uh, power of um, households, it's undermining uh, business and, and consumer confidence and, and really uh, getting inflation back under control is, uh, very, is priority number one. There's, there's a lot of speculation that we might see a fuller U-turn on fiscal policy from the UK government. Um, do you think that would be broadly welcomed by economic wonks here at the IMF? Well, look, I mean, again, I mean, our advice is consistent to all governments uh, right now. Uh, the name of the game is to get inflation under control. Uh, monetary policy clearly has an important, uh, has the uh, key role to play, and fiscal policy needs to support, uh, you know, the work being done by central banks around the world, including uh, in the U.S., including in the U.K. Some of the actions that are being taken by authorities are raising concerns in governments elsewhere. We had Valdis Dombrovskis on this morning saying that they intend to bring up some lines in the uh, Inflation Reduction Act that they feel are protectionist against uh, European products. Um, how worrisome is that for you that we may see, you know, the nascent start of another series of trade disputes? Well, look, I haven't seen uh, Valdes' uh, comments, uh, so it's a bit hard to comment on things that I haven't uh, seen, how he precisely has uh, framed what, what, what he has said. But of course, I mean, the EU and the US as uh, important uh, trading partners will have issues uh, to work through from time to time, and I encourage them to do it in a positive and constructive fashion. Yeah, what about uh, the China-US relationship? I mean, we're in the middle now of another chip IP row, which, which will see Europe become collateral damage. Uh, this morning I've already seen uh, ASML uh, in the news concerns about its US-based operations and how they'll be affected by these new US uh, trade terms on, on Chinese semiconductor technology. Look, it's, it's very important uh, for the world that we have a rules-based uh, international trading system in good working order, that we've got well-functioning global markets. But, but of course, the pandemic has exposed some key weaknesses in supply chains, uh, including in relation to uh, semiconductors, as, as just one example. I mean, what is, what is obvious uh, is to rely on uh, one or a very small number of suppliers uh, makes uh, supply chains uh, inappropriately weak. And there is, of course, uh, it's, it's entirely rational for countries around the world to reflect on how they can make their supply chains more resilient in the context of a broader commitment to open markets and free trade. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.